Hello and welcome. Firstly, please let me introduce myself. My name is Niall Ridgway. I am currently the primary 1-2 teacher up in Inverness. I'd also like to thank Young Minds Tutoring as well for partnering with me on this video. So, let's jump straight in. You'll see on the screen that we have here a tens frame. We have 10 squares on our screen. So if I put one, two, three green tokens on the screen, on our tens frame, sorry, um, we can count them as a whole. We can see that uh, with enough practice that there's just three, or we can count them. One, two, three. You'll see along the top line that uh, there's five altogether, or we can count them if we need to count them. One, two, three, four, five. I wonder how many we have now. One, two, three, four, five, six. And did you notice that I counted from left to right? Just like we read, just like we write our emails, we always go from left to right. Once we finish a line, we jump down a line and we start again from left to right. So here we've got one, two, three, four, five, six green tokens. If we've got 10 spaces on our tens frame altogether, and there's six tokens here, I wonder how many red tokens we're gonna need to make 10. We've got six already. I wonder how many tokens we need to make 10. Well, we can use our fingers. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, six plus four makes 10. Or we can use our tens frame to help us. So we can see here that we've got six and we know there's 10 spaces all together and there's four left. Let's put the red tokens in. One, two, three, four. There we go. One, two, three, four, five, six green tokens and one, two, three, four red tokens. Six plus four makes 10. This is a great way for you to practice your number bonds to 10. So if you keep practicing this, you'll know that six plus four makes 10. You'll know that five plus five makes 10. You'll know that three plus seven makes 10. You'll know that one plus nine makes 10. There we go. <laughs> um, we can try it with the tens frame again. So if I clear this and I add in one, two, three green tokens, I can see that there's three green tokens and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven spaces left. Three plus, where are we? There we go. Three plus one, two, three, four, five, six, seven equals 10. And we can see that when we add in our red tokens, three plus seven equals 10. Nice and easy. So let's make it a little bit harder now. Let's change it from a tens frame into two tens frames. Before we had one tens frame, now we have two tens frames. So we can use these two tens frames for even more games and, and even more learning. So we can practice bridging 10 and uh, crossing over 10, which is quite hard, certainly for the younger ones to do. So one, two, three, this may take me a minute. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we've got nine there and two red tokens. We've got nine green and two red. I wonder what nine plus two equals. Well, we've not got that many fingers. So we can use our two tens frames to help us. You can either count all of the green ones and the red ones all together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Or we can know through practice that nine plus two equals 11. We could use our fingers and we can go nine plus two, one, two equals 11. Or we know that there are exactly 10 tokens on this tens frame. And there's one token on this tens frame. So we've, we've changed the sum, we've made it easier. What's 10 plus one? That equals 11. 
nice and easy. So we can use the two tens frames to bridge 10, which just means to cross over the number 10. So let's try a different number. Let's try, see, so by the way, if you're wanting to do this, all you do is you just drag them down and drop them off the tens frames, nice and easy. Six, we've got six green tokens and we've got six red tokens. One, two, three, four, five, six green tokens. So let's count them all up. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So there's 12 tokens in total. Or we could use our fingers. We could do six, one, two, three, four, five, six, plus another six, one, two, three, four, five, six. It might be a bit hard sometimes, especially when you've got to cross over with all these fingers. So we know there's 12. Uh, what we could do is we could make this one group of 10 and change the sum and make it even easier. So here's 10 plus two. Oh, that's easy. 10 plus two is just 10, 11, 12. Easy peasy. So that's um, another thing that you can use the uh, tens frame for. You can use it just for counting. So give me a second. So here we have loads of tokens. I don't know how many tokens there are. I could estimate and guess. Or with enough practice, I, from sight, could work out how many there are. But if you've got um, your child in primary school and they're just uh, working out and they're just learning about their tens frames, it might be quite hard. So we've got a few options here. We could count them all individually. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So there's 16 tokens altogether. Remember that we count from left to right and we jump down to the line below every time. So we know there's 16. We could do um, 10 as a whole. So there's 10 and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We could count in fives as well. One line of five, two lines of five, three lines of five. So if you're doing times tables, you could do five, times three, so five, 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 it's 15 plus one is 16. So there's loads of different ways that you can use the tens frames to help you. And there's one last way that I'd like to show you before we end up here today. Let's clear this. We can use these tens frames for doubles as well. So we've got one, two, and one, two. So we're not joining these together. I want you to imagine that these are two separate um, tens frames. So when you look at these tens frames, uh, these are just a tens frame and a tens frame. Okay, if I could put a line across the middle here, I would <laughs> to make it easier, but I can't. So we've got two and two. What's double two? Two and two is four. Oh, easy peasy. Let's try double three. I've got three and three. Well, I could use my fingers, one, two, three, four, five, six, or I could just use the tens frames. One, two, three, four, five, six. Double three equals six. I've got three on this tens frame and three on this tens frame. I hope that helped. Um, if you've got any questions, please don't hesitate to contact us. There will be new videos, I believe it's every second week or so. So um, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this. I hope you've learned something. So yeah, thank you again for watching. Um, I'd really appreciate it if you enjoyed watching this video, if you could uh, like it on both uh, Facebook and on the YouTube channel as well, depending on where you're watching it. Um, if you want to share it with anyone, that's grand. Um, comment below if you've got any questions or if you have, um, if you've used this to support uh, yourself or your child in any way. Cheers, thank you, bye.